Good evening and welcome to the East Lake Mary Boulevard State Road 415 at Sterling Meadows Way Safety Improvements Public Meeting. My name is Richard Smith and I am the project manager with the Florida Department of Transportation. During the meeting, we will present information on the department's plans to improve safety and enhance operations through this project. We encourage your feedback and during the presentation, we will provide multiple ways you can submit your questions and comments to us about this project. All comments and questions will be responded to in writing and will become part of the public meeting record. I will now turn it over to our project team to begin the presentation. Thank you. Meeting information is being provided in multiple ways to allow the community to receive information about the project and provide input. This meeting is being conducted in person and virtually through GoToWebinar. The presentation is also available on the project webpage at www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 9924002. For online participants in the GoToWebinar application, you will see a set of icons in the top right corner of the menu bar. Click the questions icon where the red arrow is pointing to open the questions panel. Type your question into the field where the red arrow is now pointing to and hit send to submit your question or comment to project staff. To download documents about the project, click on the materials icon where the red arrow is pointing to open the documents panel. Inside are project files that can be viewed or downloaded. If joining GoToWebinar on your mobile device, click the Questions icon at the bottom of your screen. This will open the Questions panel where you can enter your question or comment into the field and hit Send. Click the Handouts icon at the bottom to open the Documents panel where you will find project files to view and download. If you happen to experience a technical issue during this meeting, Please type the issue in the questions box on the control panel on GoToWebinar or send an email to chuck at valeran-group.com to report it. You may also call 1-833-851-8340. Staff will do their best to assist you. This public meeting was advertised and is being conducted in accordance with state and federal requirements including Title VI of the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Public participation is solicited without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. Persons wishing to express their concerns about Title VI may do so by contacting Melissa McKinney, District 5 Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Mail Station 501, Deland, Florida, 32720. By phone at 386-943-5077 or email melissa.mckinney at dot.state.fl.us. You may also contact Stefan Kulikowski, State Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 605 Swanee Street, Mail Station 65, Tallahassee, Florida, 32399-0450 by phone at 850-414-4742 or email at stefan.kulikowski at dot.state.fl.us. This information is shown on a sign at the in-person location, on the project website, and in the meeting notifications. The purpose of tonight's meeting is to explain the project goals present the department's recommended improvements to help achieve those goals, and hear from the community about the proposed changes. This project is located in the city of Sanford on East Lake Mary Boulevard, also known as State Road 415, at Sterling Meadows Way. The Financial Project Identification Number, or FPID for this project, is 992400-2. The purpose of this project is to enhance safety at the intersection and improve traffic flow. Since East Lake Mary Boulevard was widened in 2016, 
FDOT has conducted many studies in the project area. These studies include a corridor speed study in 2017. The initial signal warrant analysis, requested by local residents and employees at the True Health Medical Facility, located on the west side of the intersection in 2019. A follow-up signal warrant analysis in October 2023 and updated traffic counts in May 2024. A warrant is a condition such as traffic volume that must be met to justify the installation of a traffic signal at an intersection. Traffic volume on both the main corridor, East Lake Mary Boulevard, and the side streets, Sterling Meadows Way, and the entrance to the True Health facility was considered. The side street volume minimum threshold for this intersection is 60 vehicles per hour during the busiest four hours of the day. Only one to two hours met this threshold in the past five years. Traffic signals which do not meet warrants can increase overall intersection delay and potentially increase collisions, most notably mainline rear-end crashes. The department's intersection analysis of the project area revealed that between 2020 and 2023, there were 19 crashes at this intersection, eight of which resulted in injuries. An update to include the last 13 months of available crash data revealed six additional crashes at the intersection one of which resulted in two additional injuries. The crash history, congestion observed at the intersection, and side street traffic volumes were analyzed to determine the recommendations that would best enhance safety at the intersection. Those recommendations are the basis for the proposed improvements we will discuss this evening. One of the most important responsibilities of the Florida Department of Transportation is to ensure that the design of each state road properly balances access and mobility. A basic principle of access management is to limit the number of conflict points, or points along a roadway where the paths of two vehicles can legally cross, just not at the same time. Each conflict point is a location where a crash can occur. One way to limit conflict points is by minimizing the number of median openings and restricting certain movements at some median openings. In a survey of drivers across five Central Florida projects involving access management changes, 78% said they felt safer and 84% felt that traffic moved better. Currently, this section of East Lake Mary Boulevard is a four-lane divided highway with an open median that allows U-turns and left turns from Sterling Meadows Way on the east and the True Health facility on the west. This can cause congestion and conflict at the intersection. The proposed safety improvements recommended for the intersection of East Lake Mary Boulevard and Sterling Meadows Way include converting the existing full median opening to a two-way directional median opening extending the northbound left turn lane into True Health and modifying directional signage and pavement markings. With these proposed improvements, vehicles will only be permitted to make right turns onto East Lake Mary Boulevard from the True Health facility and Sterling Meadows Way. Drivers wishing to travel south on East Lake Mary Boulevard from Sterling Meadows Way will be required to turn right and use the next available U-turn opportunity at Celery Avenue. Drivers wishing to travel north on East Lake Mary Boulevard from True Health will be required to turn right and use the next available U-turn opportunity just north of Klondike Place. These proposed median changes will reduce many potential conflict points, making the road safer for all users. In addition, these practices increase mobility and efficiency, reducing congestion and allowing more vehicles to safely navigate the roadway. Moving forward, the design of this project has an estimated cost of $40,000. The improvements on this project will be within the existing right-of-way, 
Construction for this project is funded for 2025 at an estimated cost of $150,000. We encourage your input and feedback about this project, and there are multiple ways for you to participate. All public comments and questions are part of the public meeting record, and every method for providing public comments and questions carries equal weight. While comments and questions will be accepted at any time, those submitted by August 16, 2024, 10 days after the public meeting, will become part of the project's public meeting record. All comments and questions will be responded to in writing. To submit a comment or question online, please type the comment or question in the question box on the GoToWebinar control panel. Written comments may also be submitted on the project website at www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 992400-2. You may also contact FDOT Project Manager Richard Smith directly by email at richard.smith at dot.state.fl.us or by U.S. Mail at the Florida Department of Transportation, 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Mail Station 562, DeLand, Florida, 32720. You may also call Mr. Smith at 386-943-5326 to provide verbal comments during normal business hours. The contact information is also available on the public meeting notification that you may have received by mail. To learn more about this project, go to www.cflroads.com, type the project number 992400-2 in the search box at the top right and click Go. Then click on the project name. Public meeting materials are posted on the website now. On behalf of the Florida Department of Transportation, thank you for attending this public meeting and providing your input on this project. If you have comments or questions after the meeting, please submit them by August 16, 2024. Have a good evening.